Okay, some of that tropical storm Debbie rainfall still has to drain out of the Appomattox River. And the Appomattox River, which is, here's Amelia, this is Powhatan, and the county line is the river, and also it's the southern county line of Chesterfield. And so all that water is going to be rolling there. Be careful as you're going across the bridge crossings and, and just, you know, if you're in low-lying areas near the river. And that all spills into Lake Chesson, which will be jumping up as well, and that water eventually makes its way down um, to uh, Petersburg, Colonial Heights, and Hopewell, and out toward the James. So water level going to be high today, and it'll likely be high for several days as the river uh, will be slowly dropping this weekend. Today's high mid 80s. There's a good bit of cloud cover out there, and I think that we'll get a few passing showers. I've got the rain chance at 10 uh, percent at 10 in the morning, 20 percent at three in the afternoon. There's not a lot and this computer model. I don't think does a great job of it, but you can see lots of clouds this morning. I wanted to show you that and the areas of green show you that there could be a few passing showers. This I don't think will be thunder or lightning and this is seven o'clock. So before sunset, but the clouds are out of here. So although I'm wording it as a partly sunny day, I think we'll get more clouds this morning and midday and then lots of sun into the afternoon. So kind of a decreasingly cloudy day tomorrow morning. Now we are going to be down in the low 60s and I wouldn't be surprised if in a few rural spots Tappahannock's forecast is 61. Louisa 61. Wouldn't be surprised if out near Farmville or out toward the Nelson County, you dip into the upper 50s tomorrow. And I've got tomorrow as your verified best weather day of the week. Sorry, this is a Supposed to say Wednesday's forecast. I thought I changed that. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, mid 80s, best of the week. Rain chance is pretty low for tomorrow. The seven day forecast after that verified best of the week. And again, not feeling a whole lot different than today, but just probably a little sunnier. Um, Thursday into the upper 80s. Friday, an isolated shower storm. And then the weekend produces some afternoon showers and storms. This is not going to be a lot. Just going to be some scattered stuff with temperatures in the mid 80s. You'll also notice this weekend will be more humid than it's going to be over the next few days. So tropical storm Ornesso, as expected, has formed. It's sustained winds at 40 miles an hour. It's going to be going through the northern islands of the Caribbean here. And then it's uh, over here is uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. They're looking at a tropical storm impact here. This would be into the overnight and early tomorrow morning. Then it goes out over to open water. Bermuda is right in the cone of concern. So they're going to be bracing for a potential this weekend category two storm. Um, but that is very far away from the United States. And it does give us the potential that as we go through about midweek into this coming weekend, have high surf and rip currents along the mid Atlantic seaboard. Let's head back over to Ashley. All right, Andrew, we are so great.